Recently, a powerful video appeared showing how many Russian first-person view FPV, drones are produced every day in excess of thousands. The widespread belief in the West that Russia lacks the technological capacity to enable such a large output is refuted by this visual evidence. It is surprising that the factory floor does not look like a state-of-the-art facility full of engineers and research scientists. Rather, it resembles a practical workshop with enough workers to do everything from drone testing and dispatch to circuit manufacturing. Which shows a well-stocked workshop with enough microprocessor boards and chips to assemble thousands of FPV drones each month, is proof positive of Russia's production capability and provides an overview of the machining process, which includes computerized automatic soldering irons and CNC machines to quickly solder electronic boards that will eventually be used to control drones. The hand soldering of crucial components is done by several employees. The Russian FPV drone production is decentralized, happening in multiple locations across the nation, a voice in disguise says. That follows is impressive, showing a well-thought-out storage system with thousands of ready drones stored on vertical racks. A thorough testing process is seen in the following frames for every manufactured drone, verifying the controllers, confirming successful payload communication, and evaluating the motor's dependability in flight are among the tests. The narrator says, drones are ready for dispatch after a thorough 30-second test. The announcer claims that these drones have a maximum speed of 125 km per hour and a service range of 15 km. The camera pans to a wall poster that reads Russian Express at one point. Given the elaborate design of the logo, it is speculated that this could be the name of the drone being manufactured. The first design of this drone was finished in less than a week, all thanks to the hard work of our committed engineers. Another voiceover revealed that production commenced across a variety of small and large commercial and state-run agencies, illuminating the hitherto hidden scope of this project. Highlights an important feedback loop that exists between the production unit and the Russian frontline forces, any operational hiccups are fixed in less than a day. Or verifies that 20 Russian businesses are involved in this initiative's drone production, producing more than a thousand drones a day as a whole. Five engineering hubs also put up endless effort into developing new drone features, improvements, and diverse alterations. Frames that follow take viewers to a training area for drone operators on a battlefield, or possibly a Russian training facility. Drone's intricate functioning principles including device initialization are discussed. The drone operators wear augmented reality glasses, which is why the term first-person view FPV, is used. Operators may see a live feed from the camera of their drone while it's in the air by wearing these glasses. A drone operator training class is warned by an instructor that drone operation is complicated. The film takes viewers inside one of the training facilities, where students are first instructed using laptops and joysticks before moving on to smaller drones.